Hello friends, welcome to Corporate Bridge program on MS Excel 2010 advanced version. The first question that we may like to ask ourselves is that how advanced does it get? It be, this course basically starts with the difference between 2010 versus 2007 primarily because majority of the candidates or students would be using 2007 and may have migrated to 2010 very recently. The assumption that this course makes is that you must be aware of the basic Excel functions. So we will try to deal with new introduced functions like spark lines, new kind of office buttons, equation editor is being changed, screenshots, conditional formatting. In fact, spark line has been an interesting addition in 2010 and you will find that this option is very much useful. So this is what we are going to discuss when we talk about differences in 2010. We will introduce you to some of the advanced Excel functions like VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, MATCH FUNCTION, INDEX FUNCTION, OFFSET FUNCTION. So these would be very helpful because when you kind of dig data from different databases, you will find that using functions like VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP are very healthy and useful. Once we have done with these advanced Excel functions and differences, we will learn different kinds of sensitivity analysis which are done under advanced techniques of one-dimensional data tables, two-dimensional data tables using Solver and GoalSeek to actually come to the conclusions. We will see how a dynamic name range can be made. A dynamic name range would include ranges which we can name it in a dynamic way. So we will see how that can be made as such. We will also learn how the auditing toolbar actually works and how we can audit a various a formula using the watch window. We will see there are different kinds of form controls like group boxes, check boxes, list boxes, combo boxes, scroll bars and spinners. So we will also learn those things as well. In addition to that, we will also learn arrays which are very useful functions when we are dealing with you know databases. We will also learn transpose and frequency functions. In addition to all these, we will also learn advanced charts divided into various types, how to create a scrolling chart where you can define the data dynamically and your chart scrolls automatically. We can also look at different kinds of other set of charts like a combo chart which provides various combinations of area chart versus the column chart. We will also touch base with some of the do not miss functions in Excel. Something like hyperlinks, random variables, custom view, how do you go about protecting a worksheet, column tabs, subtotal functions and otherwise. So this is what is going to be the broad base of advanced Excel functions that we are going to discuss.